the question on mixtures again a very simple question uh, not that simple very interesting question right? an alloy of copper and aluminium has 40 percent copper an alloy of copper and zinc has copper and zinc in the ratio 2 is to 7 these two alloys are mixed in such a way that in the overall alloy there is more aluminium than zinc and copper constitutes x percent of this alloy what are the range of values x can take so it's a complicated sounding question not a bleeding obvious question but very doable right? i want to think about this step by step this copper an alloy of copper and aluminium has 40 percent copper so the first alloy which has 40 percent copper has 60 percent aluminium so this is 2x this is 3x the second alloy has copper and zinc in the ratio 2 is to 7 so 2y and 7y and this is a starting step we just want to capture this as ratio and keep that up there right? now in the overall alloy we need to have more zinc more aluminium than zinc this 3x should be greater than this 7y when you are mixing both of these together and then we come back to the question and simplify and all of that fine first thing to do we are going to simplify these ratios so that there's something simple to look at let's do this like this let's say the alloy 1 has 14 is to 21 and alloy 2 has 6 is to 21 this is the same 2 is to 3 the same 2 is to 7 you notice why we have done this because we love the fact that this is 21 that's all nothing more to it this is 21 that's the same number across both places that simplifies life for it what does this tell us if you have 35 units of alloy 1 and 27 units of alloy 2 this 35 units will have 14 of copper and 21 of aluminium this 27 will have 6 of copper and 21 of aluminium very simple very simple idea right? now let's go back to thinking about when will aluminium be greater than zinc and when will the amount of aluminium be greater than the amount of zinc present let's think about this gram of alloy one more than this level will take us to a higher point where where, where there is more alloy than more aluminium than zinc yeah there's even slightly more aluminium uh, more of alloy one will have more aluminium than zinc so what is the minimum quantity of alloy one that we can have to have more aluminium than zinc very simple it's this quantity if you have this particular quantity where both are 21 then what is the extent of copper there's 14 units of copper here 6 units of copper here in what in totally 35 plus 27 units available to us or the ratio is 14 plus 6 by 62 into 100 20 by 62 into 100 this is the minimum amount of copper that will be there because if 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 we have any less of alloy 1 than alloy 2 then copper then zinc will be more than aluminium so this is a minimum that we should have okay. so the minimum amount of copper that should be there is 32.25 percent what is the maximum amount of copper that that will be there very simple we have more aluminium than zinc when will we have more aluminium than zinc when, when this first alloy is is more in order to offset the zinc what is the maximum amount of extreme scenario where aluminium can be more than zinc we have nothing of this alloy we have everything of the first alloy we have only the first alloy we don't have a second alloy we have tons and tons and tons of the first alloy and maybe half a gram of the second alloy practically only the first alloy that means the maximum amount of copper the highest percentage of copper that can be there is 40 percent we're looking for the range of x x is less than or equal to 32.25 that's not equal to 40 percent so it can be a maximum of 40 percent and a minimum of 32 and a half 32.25 percent that is the range of values x can take the, the idea here is more interesting rather than the calculation part of it we can do it very computationally very algebraically where you say 3x greater than 7y and then solve it the simpler way make that number equal 21 once you find that 21 you know that little bit more of alloy one than this number and you're through the minimum would be equal quantities of alloy 1 and e, that, that same measure where both are 21 that is the number you are looking for and then find 32.25 percent the 40 percent number is calculated in much simpler fashion